Hi everyone, I am glad to have you back. Before we move on further, I want to share an astonishing fact to you that we haven't discussed any of the Max programs in our channel. Thus, today we will discuss the problems under the topic of mathematics. And let's take a look on the first question. In the first question, we are required to get array elements and we have to print the smallest number among the array. Thus, we use array as a variable in order to get the input of array elements and we print the minimum of array using the min function and it is as easy as that. Now let's move to the next question. The second question states that your brother studies in class 2 which is not a real world reference yet we play along with the storyline and he has been given a homework to find if the numbers given to him is all co-prime. So the condition of any two numbers to be co-prime is that the common factor of both the numbers should be 1 and in the given sample input that condition fits perfectly and we print 1. And we have to produce a code here which process the given input produce an output in a similar manner. To begin with, we declare a and b as input variables. Further, we declare an empty array and a variable r to 0. And here we check if each variable thus has a common factor of 1. Thus, we declare a for loop in the range of 1 to the number itself and we divide it with each number. So, as I said, after we declare a for loop, we declare an if condition statement which checks if the variable is divisible by any of the number under the given number itself and if it does we append it in the array list else we do nothing and we do the same for the second integer value but here oops i correct my mistake and now let's continue we check if the factor of the second variable is in the list of the factors of first variable and if it does we increment the value of r further if the value of r is greater than 1 we print 1 else we print 0 meaning if both the variables have a same common factor that is 1 we increment the value of r and thus that would result in the output of the variable 1 and thus we submit our code and there are several other ways to achieve the output of this question yet almost everything ended in vain and it was one among the easiest code and i thought it would best suit for this program and that's it for today thanks for spending your valuable time with me and if you're new to my channel please subscribe my channel and enable the bell icon to receive regular updates regarding coding using python in code thanks and we will meet soon in the next video